Okay, this is uh, this is going to be the, I think the last slide that I'm going to tie for today. I've tied up quite a few already. Um, this is I'm putting this in, in as a beginner fly, but I think it's a pretty challenging beginner fly if you're if you're just learning how to tie. And it's it's a good one I think to practice on and to continue to tie because it has a lot of different parts to it that um, you'll see with a bunch of other flies. So. Uh, this is actually not the one exact one that I learned on, but it's pretty similar. So this is going to be a, a royal wolf. It's a it's a standard dry fly pattern, usually in the tractor pattern. And I like this one actually with a fluorescent chartreuse body. So that's the color of thread that I'm using. You can also do um, you can also do just a regular Adams body, like a gray body or a, a red body. A lot of different ways, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this one in chartreuse. So we begin by tying down the thread, and I'm using dyed blonde elk hair. You can use regular elk hair if you like. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie in the tail, and I'm gonna clip. I'm gonna clip a decent sized clump of elk hair, put it in the stacker. Tap that a few times. Should stack our hair up pretty well. And when you do that, you always want to make sure that you, you pull out any of the really short ones that might be in there. Just kind of grab it at the end and pull through it. Alright, now this tail is going to be really short. So I'm going to hold that back by the end. And a couple wraps should kind of Hold that down, hold it in place anyway. And then bring your thread up to let's say about a little little further than halfway up the hook. Again, make a few more wraps. Trim that off. And then tie it down. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie in our wing. And again, we're going to use um, we're going to use the dyed blonde out care for the wing. And here we want a bigger clump, probably about two or three times as much as we used for the tail. And so when you do this, grab your hair and kind of pull through it and dig out. Try to dig out any of that under hair that might be caught in there. Get our hair in our stacker. And there we go. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We want to tie. We want to tie it down to the hook first. Remember, these are going to be our wings, and then make a few wraps back towards the tail, and then we should be able to. Trim that, and then let's clean it up so we tie the rest of that hair down so it looks, looks good. And that should work for now. Okay, now to stand up the stand up the hair, we want to stand it up first. So if you pull it up and kind of push your thumb down into the bottom of the hair, it'll kind of crease it, and that should sort of hold it up to start with. And then just build up a small little thread bump right behind the right behind the hair, and that should hold it up pretty well. Now we need to split the wings, so I'm gonna with my fingers I'm gonna try to split the hair that I have there in half. And when I feel like I've done that, I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna go right through the middle of it. And same thing. around each wing, which should separate it even better. Okay, 
to what it should look like now. Or at this point, I'm just going to show it to you. That's what your wings should look like. Okay, now we're going to take our thread back to the tail. And we're going to tie in a single strand of floss, a fluorescent green floss. Okay, and usually what I do is I'll take the tip of that and just run it through my mouth and wet it down so that the fibers aren't all over the place. And using your thread. it down and take your thread and bring it up so it's right behind the wing. Now we wrap it. I might have a little bit too long of a piece of cloth that should work. We work our way up and we want it we want this to end up being a little bit tapered, and so work your way up, and then work your way back, work your way up, so we're slowly building up a bit of a tapered body. And we don't want to go all the way up to behind the wings. We want to leave just a little gap there, and that's where we're going to end up wrapping our hackle. So, got the body built up, so we'll trim off the excess. Now the tricky part. This is where we're going to tie in. We're actually going to tie in um, two different hackles. The first one I'm tying in is a grizzly hackle. Black and white. And the second one I'm tying in is a brown hackle. I'm tying them right on top of each other. Okay, now we need to wrap both of these at the same time. So we're going to grab them, and my brown one just popped off. Okay, now we're going to wrap both of these together. So, grab hold of both of them, make a couple wraps in front of the wing. And then we want a couple wraps behind the wing. And then one more in front of the wing. And now we have to tie it off. Okay, well, somehow you have to get your whip finisher in there without trapping or without tying down too many of the uh, hackle fibers. That's it. That's a uh, chartreuse royal wolf. Kind of show you what it looks like from the top. With the split wing and from the bottom. Yeah, I don't know if that's a beginner fly to tie, so that one might go in the intermediate section. That one's a little harder.